<clears throat> One more thing. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helen tonight, along with... This is Monkey to Lieutenant Turkey. Let your servers and where the heck did the tiger go? <laughs> uh, they took off. And welcome back to Heart Space Shipbreaker. Our 14th stream of this now. We late we no, we put it aside for a bit to well, focus more on Slime Rancher, but as I've said multiple times now, uh, I think we're about done with that game until the next big update comes. Like I could probably still do some things, but I'll probably do those off stream, and it's mostly just housekeeping again. Though it would, it would just mostly be putting up a. Uh, Refine refinery and market links in the other areas, so I wouldn't have to walk back the whole time, the whole way to well deposit or sell plorts. Yeah, <clears throat> there was also those uh, secret message archive things, but that would feel like it's very used to save until next update. Yeah, when well we're <laughs> we'll be going outside more because I'm. There is still one slime type that's missing, I believe, that we don't have, which might be quantum slimes. But I have no idea how to possibly find those. And yeah, there's resources that could be gathered, but I'm not sure if they have any use at the moment. Um, so yeah, it will just be continuing with this game in the meanwhile. And with that said, let's get started. Disable oxygen drain. And go. Last time, well, things went to shit because the union work was exposed. Uh, our union friend basically got quote unquote sent home, which tells me it's more likely that they tried to assassinate her or something. And Link just basically went, uh, yeah, those rights you think and say that you have, you don't. You're slaves. Also, we're taking your ship. So, yeah, people are going to be pissed, I think. Uh. Your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. Hmm. OK, I would have expected at least someone to speak up, or did they just also cut off all communications between or someone or something let's see no new messages nothing to data mine and yeah we need wires for that thing because yeah Hal is basically trying to steal it now so we need to basically try and finish that thing asap yeah and also i think it's good to get break for this door is good and all, but it does get you under skin in a way that... Yeah, I think I just said it on screen too, that... Uh, it's definitely the care industry that does get you angry for you can somehow see yourself in that position if... Yeah, yeah. you understand why you're angry. Yeah, and there are actually people in the world now that are trying to push for things to get this banned. Yeah. Oh. Okay. No chance. Oh, there we go. Ah, doesn't it feel so much calmer and focused out there? In fact, yeah. I'm gonna leave Weaver on mute a while. Let him cool down. You're a real waste of skin, Hal. Careful now, Curazon. I can put you on leave too, just like your pal Lou. You know the real beauty of that? When you're on leave. You're still Link's property. Can't do much yes. anything without our say-so. Shouldn't we be working instead of chatting? Oh, I am working, Curazon. This is my job. You, on the other hand, you better get to it. You too, Kaido. Yes, sir. And you, 52. Let's get those ships stripped, people. I really hope we can chuck his fat ass out an airlock at some point. Or some other poetic justice. Yeah, because basically he's revealed himself what he is. He's a slave driver. Nothing more, nothing le uh, nothing more than that. Certainly less than that as well. Okay. Nope. 
you know what I think that this is also going on with him? Mm. He be, it, it, this is a guess. He he acts on my deal all that, but he may be unaware that he is a clone as well. Now that would be. Hmm, not sure if it would be ironic or even more disgusting. But I get the feeling he is. Yeah, he isn't a. Uh, I forgot the name they use for it. A, a spare, I believe. I get the feeling he may not be. But if he is. Yeah, then it would just make all of his behavior even more disgusting. Because he is selling out people in the exact same boat as him. And he yeah. thinks just, just because he's a bootlicker that he'll be treated any better. But I think you missed what I said. I said. He might be one without knowing it. Hmm. Would be a bit hard to pull off since, well, you die before you can become one. Unless they have some method of fucking with your memories or something. Either way. Uh, let's see. It's been a bit, so... Let me re get reacquainted with everything here. Let's see, do we have an easy... Yep, we have an easy way to get stuff down. So let's get started on that. In the meantime, the big panels can keep moving. They may or may not reach the... <laughs> they may or may not reach uh, the processors, but we'll see. If they don't, we'll just give them another shove. For now... Let's get those wires. Yeah, I don't care about those... About the value being lost. Basically, we are... I'm, I'm not entirely sure if the game would actually... Uh, take it away if we wait too long or something. But better to, well, have the option than not. Okay. So yeah, if things absolutely do go to shit, we at least uh, we should at least try and make sure that our escape route is well functional. Yeah, oh, wasn't I mentioned that there are other places where they are allowing units and or such? I think, I think. Mm -hmm. I forget if there was, but I think some of the lore said that basically corporations have band together and well, since the, the government is basically useless, uh, that they've sort of, that, that they've gotten a union's band or something. Or, it, we'll have to see how things yeah, are about to pop up. I, feel like they, I think they have mentioned they did cop, um, communist hell some power to the government. But there are some mm. limits. Could be. So I'm sure the company are trying to hide as much as possible. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they at least the corporations aren't allowed their own militaries and such. Yeah. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. But I also pretty some shady stuff says this uh, the also video rules for that precedent uh, earlier on in the game. Yeah, I mean, like at the very freaking start. Yeah, this means they are trying, trying to undermine things even more. Yeah. Ugh. But I don't remember that they did talk about a minor rebellion on a planet. It's I think there was talk of that happening on Mars at some point or another. So yeah, that, that's, that might be why you know, corporations are trying their best to, well, make, yeah, make unions illegal and such, because they know that if push comes to shove, uh, they, are, they aren't going to win if the entirety of their workforce tells them to fuck off. Against the wall. Yeah, divide and conquer tactics. Yeah, and not only that, they don't... They actually kill you and clone you and own you. Yeah, to try and circumvent the whole human rights stuff and such. Yeah, and not only that... I'm pretty sure that them killing you to clone you is... 
It's probably it's always an illegal thing. They probably found a loophole or just make sure that you sign it and learn about that little detail when it's too late. Yeah, basically they're just... murdering their entire workforce to use them as slaves. Oh god, they just re Aren't they basically doing their necromancer tactic? Sort of. Okay. That's about most that we can pull out of here right now. Of course, there is one chair that I miss. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I can, guess you can compare it to a necromancer, but uh, the obvious are the differences. And a necromancer will kill someone for different reasons. And maybe yeah. to a graveyard or whatnot, or a battlefield. Speaking of, saying, of oh, go ahead. What? Oh, I was saying, are we still standing by this way? I don't want the necromancer to do go to those giant tombs in France. <laughs> the catacombs. Yeah, the old the ones with skulls for entire walls. <laughs> like yeah. A necromancer there. If it's like that, should be a movie about that. Probably is, though. Likely not too good if they're. <laughs> if such a movie hasn't gotten uh, too well known, but could be that it's just a sleeper hit or such. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, uh, speaking you, of, uh, yeah, speaking of graveyards and such, uh, lately pictures have been going around of uh, graves with iron bar locks over them and such, with people questioning, uh, were people afraid of zombies or such in the, back in the day? But no, those those things, which apparently were called, uh, I've, let's see, mort safes. Uh, not sure if that's because they were from France, though, because well, mort is, I believe, the French word for death. But the reason those uh, were put over graves wasn't to stop graves, wasn't to stop yeah, stop corpses from getting out. It was to get stop people from getting in. Because, well, grave robbers and such. Because, well, back in those times, people paid quite a lot for a good corpse for medical studies and such. Yeah. Or whatever the corpse was buried with. Yeah. Okay. Though it would be funny to have that in a, like, a D&D &D setting as a thing in a regions that are known for necromancer activity. Yeah. Remember, I need to look up about Black Guards. But if I'm not, that was actually a title a knight or others could have. Okay. And they, were, uh, they had a very specific job. It is usually misrepresented in D&D &D and such. Let's see, what a was the button for going is down? Supposed to guard a graveyard. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think I recall. Yep, go ahead. I'm I, I gonna guess it moved most of the the bigger graveyards, like the nobles and such are. Hmm. Oh, yeah, what were you to say? Yeah, I think I've seen uh, some. I think I've seen some classes for black guards. Where they are shown as, uh, yeah, that's basically as evil uh, paladins. So that the require the evil alignment is required. Yeah, this is kind of incorrect. Mm -hmm. Like the ones I think closest to get it sort of closer right would probably oh have a fantasy for. Yeah, there, there is a knight order for the god of death there. This is not okay. Nagash, even though he wants to that title. Uh, I forgot what the, that god's name is, but there is a knightly order who will uh, very much uh, guard graveyards, but they will go right out to war as well. Okay. I know there are such as well in uh, Dungeons & Dragons with the, uh, with the Forgotten Realm setting. You even find you even run into those. <clears throat> uh, you even run into those in uh, Neverwinter Online. 
So I'm not entirely sure if they count as a knightly order, because it's more like a, a priesthood with, well, warriors and such. Yeah. Bonked myself. I, again, I'm pretty sure d and a few other games, uh, do I, but not be surprised if other games saw uh, Black Knights in the air for the air for, oh, that's like a good Eva character type, without knowing that it's, it's, they real life those would not be evil people, they would just make sure people's graves are remain undisturbed. Yeah. Okay. Yep. If I'd noticed this one earlier, I could have dumped all of that stuff out through here, but oh well. I can still use it for all the junk in here. Okay. So yeah, it's been a, a few weeks since we last played this, and yeah, they stopped moving. Sort of expected that. There. That broke already. Okay. But yeah, let's continue working on this. And we can probably take the reactor as the last item. Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, one way to maybe do this more effectively would be to, after you've cleared out the main area, to just start cutting the thing in half. So that's, well, you could just pull it out one side and chuck it down into wherever it needs to be. I might try that on the next gecko. Uh oh. Hmm. There we go. Wait, I think. No, wait, wait, why would you go through a poor gecko? <laughs> it's the ship class. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Let's. Yes, scared I'd get a cousin of yours or something. <laughs> More on allies, <laughs> friends and all. There we go. I just, I just realized something. I haven't mm -hmm. seen many people say, this is you, this is very gross. But when they see a gecko... Yeah. <laughs> they will love him. Yeah, it's, it's the big eyes, the puppy dog eyes. Yeah, and they kind of can make um, expressions. Mm. That and people like to compare them to Yoshi. Oh, that explains that uh, I try not to laugh video a bit, but I, whenever I, I get to blow his tongue some food, they made that Yoshi tongue uh, <laughs> blip, blip, blip. sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, nice little detail. If we grab with our right hand, we can't use uh, the grapple. Right? Because, well, we're holding it in that. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Completely missed. Alright. We've already made a good amount, like a quarter... A value out of this thing in the 50 minutes about we've done this. Uh, let me see. There should be more stuff floating about. Or uh, there we go. <laughs> this one's almost broken. And that lost crates. There. Okay, come on out. Okay, that should be most everything except for the, well, the reactor stuff, the cockpits, okay. Let me just grab this while we're here. Okay, the rest are mostly broken. Okay. Now, let's get to the reactor then. I think we've grabbed most of the coolant out of it already. Also... Actually, if I do this... Yep, it just goes in one go. I just realized something horrible. Who? Oh. They very much conf openly confess that we are... Uh, the characters are enslaved for us. Yep. This then may come to question. 
Wouldn't that they make it obvious that they cannot never pay off the debt then? Yeah, that's the that is uh, what they're trying what they want. That basically that, that's also why Hal just pushes everyone so hard to work fast and not good. Okay, I'm going to try something here to try and ensure that we don't hit the thing. There we go. Okay, then we can safely pull this off after we do those. Yeah, shut up, you. Okay. Peel this atomic banana. Then... Okay. Uh, I think we've talked a bit before about uh, a possible sequel and such. I, I think Rom had some insights on that, and that's... That I think something about um, them needing to, well, make an upgraded version of the engine, because, well, there's still plenty of wonkiness with uh, the, the current engine. I had mm. forgotten completely that there was talk about the sequel to this. Mm -hmm. And more rumors than much else, to my knowledge. I haven't been actively keeping up with things. But yeah, if they would need, to, if they were to make a, a sequel, uh, all right, I need to pull it out first. There, they would need to upgrade things a lot. Okay, pull you out. Yes, yes. Okay, and yeah, I imagine an engine for us. Gravity space like this, or a lack of gravity, is not easy to uh, make. Yeah. Okay. Let's cut this thing. Okay. Come on out. Okay, shouldn't be too hard to get the remaining two milestones. And then we can go get a new ship and, well, likely see what the hell happens. Or is going to happen next, more like. Uh, let's see, processor, processor, furnace. Transferring credits. There... And there. Did I burn something behind that? Yes, apparently I did. I will. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay. Only thing keeping all of this in is now currently these bars, I believe. So, oh, oh, so I used to something here. No. They literally made a slave force from murder. Yep. And if I have thought it like that in my head, that that's horrifying. Okay, can I move this but, now? In a way, this the more Yes, the probably why I've been so hesitant about streaming these games so many times. The more afraid, the more horrifying it gets. Yeah. Okay. Send all sure of that this off. Is game? Uh, in a way, it is. There. Material yeah, with all of that on the move. There. Yeah. Only. Only, yeah, the, the only stuff for the bards that remains should be in the uh, in the cockpit. So once we've dealt with these little panels here, we can go do that and then start cutting the ship in parts to well send in <laughs> to finish off this thing. There. Can I? Okay, I get the feeling some of those are bouncing out, but oh well, we can go put them back in later. 
Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, I completely missed that that was still there. Okay, send you that way. And here we go with the last of the really valuable stuff. Hmm. More wealth value in per uh, kilogram and such. There. A light destroyed, but a well, those are hardly worth anything. Could only get like three bags of you know, chips with that. So they're really not th worth the hassle. Hmm. These two last, and that should be most everything. There's still a few lights around and such, but not really worth the hassle. So that, there's a control panel in there. We'll probably want that. Okay. Let's get in through here. Those are for the furnace because we destroyed them. Uh, yeah, there. Completely overlook this. And one over there, along with some final processor stuff. Or not processor, barred stuff. There. And there. Can't just get through the door. Another one there. Yep. Missed that one earlier. Okay. Yeah, come on. There we go. Yep, and apparently I, I missed one of the <laughs> reactor panels. There. Okay. Let me be a bit more careful with that so it doesn't start bouncing and sparking. So I don't think it, I would have been able, easily able to throw it through the, through the gap to its, to its size. There. Okay, you. There. And let's see. Should still be something floating around, I think. Nope. Over there in the corner. Nope. Two things in the corner. Come on. And you go. And that should be most everything except for some lights. Uh, there is also these things still. Hmm. Let me see, what was it again with these? As long as we melt the four corn uh, the four lines around them, we should be able to pull them free. There. Okay. You're still good on the durability on, on this thing. There we go. And that's now movable. Okay, get you over there. Then these two. And yeah, then I think it's just mostly cutting it in, in pieces. And throwing it all in the furnace. There, need to keep an eye on the temperature. So that we don't set it ourselves in a light like we've done before. There. And the last one. Here we go. 
All right. One more. Yeah, we are destroying parts of what could be sold, but, well, it's only 3,000 credits each. And each of these is, like, as you can see, 20, 212,000. So, yeah, just peanuts for the actual profit we're making of destroying these. Wait, how much did you say it was worth? Let's see. Uh, okay, different parts are worth different bits, but the main part here already is just 21 and uh, 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 212. And then there's 48. So, yeah, not really worth it to uh, try and save the little bits. Oh. A few more small things here. Rather, one valuable small thing. And a bunch of less valuable ones, so let's just start cutting. So the 8,000. Yeah, for a, uh, for a door console. Let's see. Yeah, except for these two panels here, it's all furnace now, I believe. There. Okay, now, easiest cutting point right here. Just go all the way around. There. Nope. <laughs> okay, did not mean to flip it. Okay. Yep. Forgot about you. Okay. Then we just cut that. And now all of this should be movable. Get in there, you. Yep, that's a moving. Okay. You... Bounce it off the other one. Come on, keep moving. Now, all of that is too much weight, I believe. 22 tons. That is 12 tons. So if I can cut this in half... There. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all movable now. And you can go there. I just have an idea. Hmm? Uh, it may require me to need to borrow your copter here. Oh. I want to use as a conversation piece with Hal. <laughs> okay, are these blown fuses or something that. Or just casings of a sort? Come on, get moving. Oop. Missed one. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Order. There we go. Okay, still slowly but surely moving. Hmm. Is it getting slowed down by other pieces or something? 
odds. Let's see, 12k, 13k. Okay, it might just be a little too heavy. Uh, let's see if we can uh, correct that. Nope, did not mean it for it to land like that, but I will. Okay, was was that always there? Just to... <laughs> okay. Uh, you did get the upgrade so you could pick it up. Yeah, but I'm not sure if that little mini game was there before or not. Come on, get moving. Oh, great, that's still going to be attached because the little corners like to be little jackasses and be harder to cut. There we okay, go. Now, oop. Okay, did, did not expect that. <coughs> Yeah, that su <laughs> surprised me. <laughs> Yoink. There you go, I've got a bit of fake fruit for a moment there. Okay. Yeah, we're losing some lights and such, but, well, it's only a light loss. Quite literally and figuratively. Okay. <laughs> All right, that should be just about everything, except for one more reactor panel, apparently. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else but scraps flying around. Are you getting scraped along the wall or something? Come on. There we go. That's going in. Yeah, I think one. I think the one tether on the other side was slowing it down by pulling it against the wall. All right. Uh, technically, we, we yeah, technically we could have quit earlier because we already hit the last milestone. But yeah, more money. Tethers. Okay. Just wait for the last bit to get destroyed. Okay, there's just there's a little bit over there that's unwanted, but that's attacked to the ECU. So yeah, that's just a tiny little bit. So not really worth the bothering. Okay, less than five percent destroyed. Twenty million gallons. And a new level. Which is well where the new story should start coming in again. Okay. You. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Hey, folks. I, uh, well, I don't rightly know what to say. I should have seen what Luke Wait. saw. The fucker the took it. We ain't nothing but equipment. I swear, if I could get within cutting distance of that bastard. Well, listen, this is what I want to talk about. Remember what Lou was saying about industrial action? Weaver. Now, I don't pretend to know what it accomplished, per se, but I do know it'd make him hurt. Weaver. Heck, I know it'll piss Hal off. That alone's worth the price of admission. Weaver. Shut up, Kai. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Everyone, I... He was so scary. You seen him? Kai. You spilled a, you spilled the beans in it. I, he pulled me aside. Look, I gave him access to the Union News Group. This is because of you? I, I didn't know Lou was going to send that message. I didn't know. Ah, oh, Kaido. How could you do that? I should have seen this coming. I'm so sorry. Well, kid, sorry's about as useful as a paper bag for a helmet, ain't it? Well, folks, 
My old man taught me to know when the hands need a fold. Don't even know why I thought we could play this game. Play by the rules tomorrow, and the next day, and every day thereafter. <sighs> Maybe in time, they'll give us some of our humanity back. Weaver out. Okay, so tomorrow we start just trashing ships. Good morning, shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not hey. the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you do, you will be successful. Let's see. New ship, Javelin Heavy Cargo, large. Boasting the largest cargo capacity of any ship on the market, this model of the Javelin is heavily used by all industrial market leaders to transport their goods and materials. Look, the Stellar Commission should worry less about whether or not I spend company funds on vacation properties throughout the colonies, and more about what they're doing to what they're going to do with the rampant uptake in so-called pleb punk music poisoning the minds of our young workforce. Really? Uh, all of these people should just be thrown out of an airlock. Okay. Is the rear of the ship really gone? Looks like. So we can't. Yeah, right, patient worry. missing. <laughs> okay, Does so. Does this mean that we have mm. missed our chance to escape with it? Maybe. We'll have to see. For now. Yeah, let's just keep working. And let's see. King of the Storm 3. Let's see, you are worth a hell of a lot of MP. Okay, these things are worth more than the geckos. Okay. Uh, come on, let me move back up. Yeah, uh, didn't this game have mm. multiple endings? I think so. I'd never checked to be certain, so I'll keep a surprise for myself as well. And let's see, it looks like we need about, yeah, we need just under 900 uh, points. And let's see, this one looks like it will give us uh, about uh, just under, uh, let's see, 100, yeah, just under a thousand points about. Uh, let's see, 900 uh, minus nine. I think, yeah, if we finish this thing, I think we should be good for our next rank. Hmm. Yeah, I think. Hmm. I think when it's time for the industrial action that we will be told about it. Uh -oh. Happy morning, folks. Saw some sloppiness yesterday, but I let it slide. Hope I don't see more today. Fuck off! You would st you would still be complaining if you well, saw if you, you saw. Quiet bunch. Yeah, if. Yeah. Weaver, you're unmuted, by the way. You're not worth talking to. I'm aware. No sage words of wisdom for the team? They know what they're doing. Hmm. You know, Curazon, if you hit those quotas, I might... CG privileges back. Once a week only, of course. I'd like that. Yeah, well... Need to see those results first. He wouldn't. Well, heck, folks, you're really taking this job seriously. I love to see it. Remember what we say, Kai? Avoiding chatter makes profits. What? Huh? It makes profits better, right? Right. He's getting nervous. Well, I like this. My little group of busy bees. No fuss, just salvage. Uh, keep it up. How out. Yeah, he, he is getting nervous. Yeah, he, he's unsure if this is a good thing or bad thing. Yeah. He, he's just, he's, he's a bully. He's trying to get a reaction out of everyone, and we're just not giving it. So... He's starting to get nervous that we might be up to something. That or nervous that he got the push too far. 
Yeah. Or so he, he, his job is to was... bully people. So when when he can do that, uh, he's not going to be needed anymore. So he's going. He's likely the next to be put on quote unquote leave. Yeah. If he can't find anywhere to put the squeeze on us, then he becomes obsolete. Okay. Let's just start with the easy things. All of these containers. Okay. Tethers are getting some strain put on them from this. But they're managing. I probably should have looked at some more upgrades because we have quite a few Lynx tokens for that, I believe. Okay, that's loose. Okay. Yeah, a good 150k for each of these. 140, yeah, 54k. Go. Quick cash. Misclick that one. There. Hmm. <laughs> Just a rain of shipping containers. A very slow rain, but still. Okay, now let's have a look. Okay, mostly pressurized everywhere. Okay, no places unpressurized. Okay. Let's get these off. Hmm. Yeah, I get the feeling even if we don't try anything, that they're going to presume we're up to something and act against us all the same. Oh, we're out of charges. By the way, uh, notice he's had a interference with his uh, communication. Yeah, mostly and it's been perfectly play. fine so far. So maybe uh, someone is starting to fuck with his signals. Here, look at your screen. Yeah, it's very stuttery. Curious. Also, I, I saw some info in the loader screen. Ew. You talked about the ghost ship. Yep. About the okay. nodes, they are. It's, uh, it's about it. Has anyone else noticed that the nodes scream? Yep. And I'm pretty sure I asked about it. Are the nodes screaming? You said no, they're not screaming. Apparently, all of think they are screaming too. Yeah, Kaido said something similar, I believe. Yeah. Um, let's see. Hmm. Let's start with these. Air pressure level decreasing. Okay. And the exterior is still pressurized. Yep. Okay. Let's decompress the, the side cockpit here. Okay. Mm. Okay. And there should be one around here somewhere. Yep. Oh, that's broken. Okay. Hmm. That's going to make things a bit difficult. Let's see. Best I cling on to somewhere here, I think. And then... Hmm. And then once that one pops... Okay, that, that that probably this that that wait did that just blow the entire front off? Yep, it did. Where did that go? Okay. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. that flew! <laughs> it probably should have di dislocated our arm, but it worked. Okay. Where the heck did that go? I'm not see it well, it's probably out of scanner range. I'm probably heading uh, for that work site there somewhere. Maybe it bounced? <laughs> All the same, that was probably the safest way we could have decompressed that. Okay, we'll have to do this one next. And for now, pluck some valuable stuff off of this thing. Uh, yeah, that, that, that must have been a lot so much for the actually rocket. At the, it didn't look like you shot out like a rocket, like show with speed, but. I didn't even. It's it's took off so fast. I didn't even notice that uh, the just the front just fucking vanished. Oh, I saw it vanish. It would just fly off, but force. But it shouldn't be so fast that we cannot see it anymore. Yeah, we probably ruined some other shipbreakers day with that, but oh well. There we go. Nothing in hidden compartments. Okay. Now, just get rid of these things. And there. And then there's this, this thing. Okay. Yeah. The annoying thing with these things is, is that I don't think you can actually remove them safely. I, actually, the only way I think you might be able to, if you were to, if you were to uh, use explosive charges or an upgraded cutter, to cut around it. But we don't have, yeah, we don't have charges left, and we don't have the upgraded cutter. Okay, for now. Okay. We'll be good at you get that. Yeah, we will have to be careful though, since that also means you know, if we get the upgraded cutter, it also means that we can well get uh, we can accidentally cut panels that are a lot more valuable. Okay. Uh, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. Yeah. There we go. It's the reactor ink compartments really free. Okay. No. Nope. Before anything else, I should for, you know, remember to do this. Okay. That removes all of the fuel. Now we can just separate the last part of this. Okay, not enough force to actually push it off. But from the outside, we should be able to just get that completely loose. Okay. Yes. We don't need to cut each and every one of these, as long as we can still move whatever is connected to it. Okay. I'll grab some more water. <laughs> yeah, hard to skip there for a second, as the game skipped a moment. Okay. Get you out. Uh, wait, wait. Almost forgot. There we go. Forty eight K. Okay. There. No. Let's see. We should be able to just move. Half of that off. Yep. That'll give us free access to the reactor. 
Okay. Need to get rid of this thing. And then it's going to be pretty easy to get the reactor safe and remove it. There. You accidentally breached. Oh, I accidentally breached the the airlock itself. Oh well. Get moving. I'm back. I was surprised you didn't uh, end up dying. <laughs> okay, you get off and okay. down. All right. No, not you. Wait, I'm all off the table. <laughs> Wait, I'm off the tape of oh, guards. How long have we bouncing like this? <laughs> okay, why are you refusing to move? You are loose. Maybe you're just getting yeah. kept stuck in place. Uh, let's see. Let's remove that. And the actual airlock here. Yeah, come on. There we go. Okay. Now we go peel the atomic banana again. I mean, not the first time I learned leave this city, that would make it just sound so weird. No. I'm aware of that bananas are radioactive. Yeah, but to, <laughs> to die of radio uh, uh, radiation poisoning from bananas, you would need to, well, eat like a few hundred times your body weight in banana. Yeah, I think that's so, part of the joke. Yeah. But, uh, so, uh, I think so it was, you was, uh, that someone, uh, Plan to k kill someone with radiation from bananas. <laughs> I think you so could say you, you don't need a lot of bananas to do that. Yeah, you, you could say the very idea is bananas. <laughs> okay. Being proud yep. for that one, Captain. Yep. Also, I th almost forgot. Actually, wait, there, there's no guards around it this time. So we can just pull the wait. coolant. Wait. They, they never had any guards around them. No, yeah, but uh, the outer layer that would keep. Oh, you mean guards <laughs> that way? Yep. Okay. There we go. And yeah, that's a good four million. Okay. Now, if we were only after just getting money quick, we could have, we basically could bail right here and now, but uh, we want the points to, so we get the next ranks and such. So let's leave that alone for now and move towards here so we can decompress this place. As well, a lot bigger than on the other javelins. Okay, here's the entry point. Hmm. The place should still have power. Or, hmm. Is it going to still have power enough? We'll see if the lights are on, I think. So it might have been a bit dumb for me to go straight for that. Thank you. Yeah, there is still power. So that means there must be a power generator somewhere then, I'm guessing. Another one? Yeah, not a, not a nuclear react, not a reactor, just more an electrical generator. There's a lot of goodies here. There we go. Okay. Is that? No, that's not usable. Okay. No. 
Where is the atmosphere regulator? Hmm. Is there even one in this place? Let me take a look. Oh, yeah, that's fuses that, that I hear. So there is still a generator somewhere. Huh. Damn it. Wait. Okay, it is here, but it's broken. So that does mean that we are going to need to decompress this place. Which means that all the loose things are getting dumped into an airlock. Let's see. For safety? Uh, wait, hmm. I just realized something. Hmm? What if you could aim the airlock? With this, all the loose stuff to shoot down all the loose stuff into the barge. I think that is something you can do. Oh, hello, filter. But it is risky, I believe. Speaking of risky, definitely removing the explosive dangers. Oh, yeah, that's probably good. Let's see, do we have... Yes, we have a regulator here. We'll have one in here as well, but is it going... Yes, it's going to be functional. Okay, and since that's an airlock anyways, we can decompress this. Level uh -oh. Okay, may as well decouple this then. Um, yes, I know, fuel, fuel is... Low. That can be easily enough fixed by just cutting all of this. Boink. And moving over here. Okay. Thruster fuel, demo charges. Okay. Poster. Oh, stuff in. Oh, hello. Credits. Let's see. 65k. And some booze. <laughs> booze and soda. Okay. No. Oh, oh, this is unpowered now. Okay. Let's get you moving. Okay, should still be accessible from the inside. No, not there. Come on, there we go. Okay. Yep. There. And there. There. And that's all the barge stuff. Oop. Did we did we just accidentally decompress the inside? Maybe? Doesn't look like it. I'm not seeing any red. Okay. But also, not to think that someone else might beat us too, uh, hell with a cutter. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a race. Lost the lights. Oh, oh well. Him. No! What? Now I have a, it's a big fat rat race song in my head. <laughs> oh, right, you. I wonder how many people remember that movie. Rat Race? Yeah. It is a decently popular one to my knowledge, because, well, Mr. Bean. Yeah, dude, I haven't heard people talk about, about it in so many years. And... Unlike many other movies from that era, it 
it have not survived in meme form. Let's see anything here that's like, loose. Like we have many oh, moves oh, that are very really old, but today's standard they have survived thanks to memes. <laughs> Okay, so why are there two of these here? Huh. Yeah, lucky for us, I guess. Okay, open you up. Open you up. Wait. Hmm. Huh. Okay, looks like somehow... The outer si outside here got depressurized as well. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Then only this bit here remains, I believe. But, yeah, I I'm curious what the devs can come up with for, uh, bleh, for a sequel of this game. Okay. Yeah, I know that. For a sequel, they're probably going to need to decide which one is canon. If there is multiple endings. Yeah. Okay. Though, actually, when I think about it, we haven't had that ship completed for a while. Or almost. We really haven't had any info that we could drive away with it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there probably would have been something, some very specific part that we would have needed uh, towards the end there, but mm, we'll have to see if we missed out on a possible ending or if we can strong arm Hal into giving it back. Prefer, uh, pref <laughs> yeah, emphasis on the strong arm. As in, you give yeah, us, you, know you give that back, or I, <laughs> I break you in half. Really, that's a bit. Him, him. Let, 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 let me do the talking. <laughs> and of to that. Are you going to nibble at his ankles? Nibble in his <laughs> ankles? No, 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 my dear captain. I have something more effective in my mind. Oh. Uh, it involves access, chain swords, car <laughs> jumping cables, a few alligators with lasers on their heads. We are going full Dr. Evil. Who? Dr. Evil, Austin Powers. Who? <laughs> I've never heard of them. Okay, we need to go watch. We need to set up a movie night. <laughs> I know. I hope you were able to hear my sarcasm there. <laughs> so, yeah, we should try and set up like a, a monthly movie night or something on the server. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure if I've seen all Austin Power movies. I think there's only two. Oop, did not mean to do that. Oh, not two. I'm pretty sure there's. Three or hmm. four, maybe. Two? I'm skeptical about two. Yeah, we'll have to check that out, but I I know it's a small amount, at least. Yeah, at least three, I think. At least minimum of three. That's large. I believe this Rosita is a fourth. Hmm. Actually, better way to cut these would be like this. As long as we don't cut the plate itself. And also here, you, you and me have talked about Austin Powers before, like about Gold Member being Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the moment that Xterra remembers that bit, he's never going to live. <laughs> let me forget that. I'm still surprised, but I, I think I, I, as I was a kid, I thought he was German. Uh, not too surprising. There we go. 
Okay. Send these down. That Dude, gives us our third German one. Does German speak with a Dutch accent? A more Germanic accent, I would say. But it has been a bit since I've seen the movie. So I could be wrong on that. There. Okay. Salvage secured. Account credit Might as well pull you out. Okay. Now you. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. There. And there. Or no. Also, uh, probably not the first, but the armor plates kind of look like giant chocolate bars. So I was not the only one. <laughs> Were you also getting hungry for chocolates? Uh, reasonably. Okay. Same One here. and two and three. Down and go. Okay. Well, it's probably a shock for the Iron Giant. <laughs> there and I, there. I okay. think I saw that movie actually before the pandemic. For the first yeah. time. All right. Uh, it, by, it's quite a classic. I mean, by that I mean, like I saw it uh, one of the few years before uh, 2020. I just don't know when in 2020 I saw it. Okay. Not, uh, before 2020, I mean. But I know I did not see it as a kid. Mm. I believe it was Spielberg who worked on that one, right? I'm sure, but I will not be surprised. Let's see. Anything else on the outside except for those? For, if there is anything I respect about Spielberg is... He understands kids uh, quite well. Yeah. Like, okay. he understands kids can... At least most kids can handle... Some things that some parents want to shield kids from. Yeah. Kids are not as stupid as some parents think. Yeah. Like, some kids maybe need to wait with some subjects, but... It goes from kid to... It's different from kid to kid, but at the same time... When going as far as... As allows many things I've seen in movies, cartoons, and such, it's even kids will come up uh, feel insulted. At least the smarter kids will feel insulted. Yeah. Well, well, I think the definition of kid for him is typically more towards the teenage years and such, not like uh, a young teenage, like 10 uh, and such. Yeah. I feel like he remembers how it was to be a kid. Okay. Let's get that moving. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I feel also at the time that sometimes these poor cuddling can have long lasting bad effects on kids. Yeah, more. Yeah. More that a lot of things that should be taught these days aren't being taught. Like, a lot of people uh, nowadays also complain that they never were taught how to, well, do basic home economics and such. Like, how to do your taxes and that such. And a lot of places are just not going to help you with that and such. Like, over here in the Netherlands, we have it pretty easy with that. Like, the government will go, oh, you use. Uh, you owe us this and that after going through a, an online of document and where well, you can adjust stuff like yeah did you get married or, and that sort of stuff and yeah basically as long as well not too many things change your taxes should be the, basically the same each and every year yeah there has been a while i feel like like it got trickier for schools to do that due to well, the way you do the bills changes quite a lot under a five-year period. Hmm. Let's see. 
Now we just gotta empty this thing out and send it flying. I, I, I do know... Uh, uh, let's see here. I'm going from memory here. Many things I... I got to hear about was being taught in, in uh, my school ended up being outdated information. Yeah, that's also a problem. Oops, art collector sticker. Like I feel like it was it was it was a thing when they were being taught it, but once they left school, it was no longer than a good method anymore. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Pull you off. Uh, but then there's also other st more serious stuff and such, like entire parts of history that people are trying to bury and such. Yeah, or worse, uh, like either bury or alter heavily. Yeah. This is both bad. For both... Actually, yeah, both are usually used by... People want to try to push a agenda or something else. Yeah, like... Um, that, uh, what's happening a lot in America nowadays, apparently, is that they are trying to... No, for, like, not sure if it's the best word, but it's definitely a word that somewhat fits for it. But that a lot of southern states are trying to whitewash uh, slavery and such. Like, that saying it was actually a good thing and such bullshit. Come on. Yeah, that... Slavery is never good. Yeah. Uh, it would be like if Germany were to stop teaching about the Second World War. You and know also, that, I, that would and should cause absolute outrage. Yeah, and also, I don't think the term whitewash is correct at all for that, but I, I know what you mean. Just, I don't think whitewash is correct there. Yeah. More of English has never been my strongest suit anyways. <laughs> but yeah, basically trying to make it seem like it's not that it wasn't such a bad thing and such. Yeah. It... Which means similar like be saying that murder is a slight inconvenience. Situation? Yeah, not make light, that would be more like uh, making jokes about uh, stuff like that. Point taken. Point taken. But yeah, but then we have also people try to do other things by claiming someone looked like that, but it's obviously they never looked like that, for example. Mm. Yeah. This might be a bit of a controversial saying, but as the thing to say, but uh, basically the, the image of Jesus that um, most churches worship and such. Uh, yeah, no way an Egyptian Jew would have looked like that. Wait, Egyptian Jew? I thought it, I thought it was from uh, Middle East. Now, the, anything from that, uh, any person from that region uh, would basically not look like the uh, typical depiction. That is true. That one people have uh, grown to accept. Even from yeah, a lot the, of people like, haven't. Yeah, that, that, see, that one makes a bit more sense. Especially with, mm. the, at least for people that claim to have been his bones. Yeah, the way I see it, uh, any myth, any religion is basically just the same as uh, mythology. It's just more widely accepted. Yeah, I think people have been looking to the older, uh, well, much older books that actually describe him. Okay. Now, let's cut some of this. Is it enough to get it loose? Nope. Oh, wait, I remember this. There's a freaking bar right across the middle of it that's keeping it in place, of course. Uh, let's see, that's... Another one here. Actually, it's not. Is it still touching? It's still touching somewhere. Yeah, that reminds me. Apparently, Egypt won uh, the trial with uh, Netflix over the Cleopatra documentary. Oh. Uh, what yeah, was that about Egypt again? Like Netflix for misinformation. 
Uh, yeah, because they showed, uh, they depicted Cleopatra as being uh, Caucasian or Not such. Greek. She was Greek, mm. and even Egypt uh, have said she was Greek who lived in Egypt. The reason Egypt liked her was because she was a Greek who understood Egyptians back then okay, and yeah. actually cared about them. So them trying to not make it Greek by saying a lot of things that was not true pissed them off. As well, they also and other people commented like. There's been many other fascinating rude queens and kings of Africa that I could have done a, a documentary of, but no, they should go with Cleopatra for she was the most known and uh, alter a lot about her to fit an agenda. Hmm. Yeah, there's, there's one thing that's certain about Cleopatra is that typically in media and such she's depicted as yeah, beautiful and such, but. Uh, Something to keep in mind is that that family was inbred as all fuck. So, uh, yeah, she probably wouldn't. She probably would not be as attractive as most media and most historical depictions would show. Because let's be honest, if you're going to, if you're being or if you've been commissioned to make a portrait of someone, you're going to you're going to suck up to them some so you can get a better price for it. Yeah. No. Hmm. Which also, oh. uh, you, you know the, the Habsburgs and such, with the yeah, massive the, fucking uh, chins? Yeah, th I know those, them. <laughs> th those portraits were made to be flattering. So, whatever, <laughs> they would have been much, much worse than the port- they, they probably would have been much worse even than the portraits displayed. Yeah, that's what- What is keeping you stuck? Inbred. However, mm -hmm. I, I may need to double check this. I've been made to I think Cleopatra would not been not been inbred, but she may have been forced to marry a relative. So she may be in forced to be in process of doing it. Okay. But again, I may have to double check this. Okay. Also, I probably should have done this much earlier. Luckily, so, this yeah, doesn't people, need fuel, not power. I guess you can see people. This is an area I think that, that as I said, I will double check this, but go ahead, people, and look it up just in case. For there has been also some mis mis information about her that has been going on for quite a long time. And some information has been exaggerated over the years as well, so. so yeah, that. Like, her, like her being a manip uh, manipulative bitch and such. Though, to be honest, back in those days, if you were a noble, you had to be man manipulative to at least some degree to be able to survive, because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just killing siblings for was a very, very, very common thing. Yeah. And, uh, oh god, it makes me think of some other noble family that ended up... Uh, Having ties to our Pope. Oh, that, that's that's another whole can of worms, just the Popes and throughout the entirety of history. Yeah, and this Pope had a family, which he gave uh, a lot of power. I forgot which... I don't think... The, it, it, I think it was a country that is no longer a country anymore. Uh... Czechoslovakia? Or something? No, 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 no. Way further back. Okay. Barbary? Barbar I'm probably Bar saying a completely wrong country for all I know. Barbarossa? Not maybe? even sure if that is a country. Hmm. Yeah, maybe the most of the family was called the Barbarossa? Uh, I can't. I, um, I only remember fragment here. I, I'm probably gonna need to double check this. Yeah. Okay, like, we're not history beyond. experts. Yeah, some of history do sort of well, but there's... Here's also the other thing. Do to be willing with an age of very widespread information, a lot of information gets updated so oftenly that we may... They sometimes don't take time to double check that its information is correct. Yeah. 
Uh, normally, because... some information <laughs> would take years to be confirmed, but some yeah, people be... just post it right away. Yeah, as quickly as information spreads these days, misinformation can spread even faster. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, sometimes they will say, this is the current theory, and someone picks up and go, all right, this will be good, good on our new site, and they remove theory. Yeah. Uh, also, something on that. Uh, there's a difference between uh, your standard theories and such, and scientific theory. Because in basically, with scientific theory, it's like this is the best understanding that we have uh, at the moment with the evidence available until it can be disproven. Ooh, ooh, uh, okay, I was a bit too close to that one. <laughs> but that does not mean that it is quote-unquote unproven. Yes, there's a lot of people online who go yeah, who go after uh, like the theory of evolution and such, that's saying it's just a theory and it's never been proven or such. Like, bitch, there's been entire uh, books, uh, film series, and documentations about uh, the, oh. how evolution works. Oh, I know a YouTube you probably like, but he has uh, actually spotted some videos about uh, those people and realized they're just. Basically, he, he was supposed to be able to react and explain counter arguments, and then he was put out at the one view that you explain perfectly what it is. And yet, you two still question, like, he was dumbfounded, even I was dumbfounded. But they would read out the book, explain exactly what it is, proving themselves wrong. Yeah, the, the problem with well, most right. of those people is, is that they don't want to be proven uh, right or wrong, they just want to, well, be you know, either be a complete asshole or just want to muddy the waters. Yeah, and here's the kind of here. This person was reacting to creationist videos. Yeah. So yeah, you can guess uh, how. I, I, no, I just saw a clip that I don't know. I, I, I didn't watch the video. I just saw how they, they, they did a bit of the autoplay for those first four seconds. And YouTuber was face palm before what uh, and the creationist said. Here we have a fair pod who has a a bird in his stomach. So how could dinosaurs become birds if they were already eating them? Uh, yep. I think everyone can hear the issue there. Yeah. Also, this the simplest uh, the simplest point that I would say to disprove uh, creationists is. Explain the fucking platypus. Because the only way that they could uh, argue that the platypus was made by God or something is if he was fucking drunk. Oh, God. I, I, thank you for reminding me of something I learned recently about platypus. Uh, besides like, what I told you, they actually have a bit of a glow if you shine a certain light on them. Yeah. <laughs> glow in the dark platypus. Yeah, they just happen to have the same color scheme then as Harry. <laughs> However, there's something else I learned about them from that video. Oh. Oh, that's really uh, loose now. Yep. They put milk from the skin to feed the young. Yep. Which suddenly oh, makes the orc version of them more disturbing for they they just made them have nipples on their backs <laughs> and okay. now people please don't make a parrot band called nipple back <laughs> just please don't <laughs> okay even i wasn't going for that one i i just i yeah when i saw the uh, a video about the, the may wing with a flying platypus and i saw they just sprouting Having nipples on the back, I thought it was spikes, but nope, there was only nipples. <laughs> and they just sprayed milks like fountains. They just felt, oh god, so I'm gonna, gonna make a nickelback yoke, it's called a nickelback or something. <laughs> I just felt like that's a yoke someone gonna do. 
and they're gonna be so proud while everyone is screaming in pain. Me included will scream in pain for me on that. I think it's that I might blame you for being make me overly paranoid and prepared for bad jokes. <laughs> Uh, and I swear, you, you might us your giggles disservice. <laughs> okay, for uh, clarification, yeah. from my end, whenever he giggles or chuckles, he, he, he sometimes sounds like a hamster. <laughs> okay, that's a new one. And, uh, God, I'm, so far, just waving at that is that's his mic. But let's be honest, uh, like, I think people have noticed that, like, uh, I have to explain when I, I have been laughing for this, always my mic does pick up my laughter, not always at least. Yep. Uh, I think probably it has been heard when my, I'm laughing so much it cuts in and out a lot. Yep. So I'm taking the same logic with the Helion's shot goals. <laughs> uh, actually, what, what are you, are you giggling or chuckling? Uh, let's see. I believe chuckling is more when you... It's more from the throat or such. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that, it is, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's finally loose. Let's see. This is mostly furnace. Except for the stuff within. Oh, gosh. My brain just went haywire. Okay, I just imagine this time? as a hamster. <laughs> okay. That'd be a sight, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, uh, maybe uh, I could uh, get Tatum to make an image like that. Uh, you mean as a, a, bit, as a bit of a, uh, a joke one? <laughs> yep. Ah, there it is. I can't even think about it. I think I actually had a friend who had a hamster with similar hairstyle as you. <laughs> okay. With a uh, hairbang style, I mean. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Give me that. Wait, how do I say guinea pig or hamster? Hamster. Alright. Correction, I meant guinea pig. <laughs> okay. But those hamsters even make sound. I, I think. Yeah. I said, oh yeah. I meant guinea pigs. Guinea pigs, they they are noisy. Yeah. I've never had guinea pigs, but I've known people who have had them. Wait. If I do and this. you probably know how noisy they get, especially with that noisy sound of it. Oh. Oops. Uh, <laughs> Was the I just destroyed the ECU at an accident. And apparently that gave me a shock instead of freezing me. Okay. Radio malfunction. <laughs> and I get jazz instead of classical. <laughs> oh. oh well. <laughs> oh, what was I say? Oh yeah. I have met people who had guinea pigs that uh, learned that if they if they hear the sound of a plastic bag or something plastic being opened or touched, they will squeal or whatever you would call a guinea pig sound loudly for they think, food time, food time, food time. Yeah, we sometimes have that uh, with the cats. <laughs> you mean if you open a bag of fix? Fix? What? Bag of ships? Yeah. There we go. Yep. They, the they, cats they, they, running? Yeah, they, they figured out the difference between food packs, uh, food pack sounds, and uh, like snack sounds and such. But sometimes they do still react <laughs> to uh, just plastic crinkling and such. Yeah, the guinea pigs never learned the difference. They only learned. Yeah, they think the word that sound will always mean food. Oh, out of tethers. Oh, dear okay. gods. Ooh. Okay, whilst that is janking around, let's go get ourselves some tethers. 
And hopefully it'll be mostly unfucked by the time we get back. And tethers. Okay. Okay, that is looking better. Now, if I do that, is it going to leave the rest of the stuff behind? Yes, it is, mostly. Okay. Okay, still need to be somewhat careful with this thing. Since, oh, wait. Is that an opening to get it through? Easily, easy way to solve that. And that. Oh, keep moving you. It is not attached or not. Yeah. Go anyways. Okay, come on. Maybe better if I try to remove the framework off of it. Okay, that's a lot of fuel. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, I'll need to make at least one more cut to get that thing out, I think. away from the high explosives. Okay. Yeah, just split the thing in half. There we go. Okay. And there that goes. Okay. Yeah, probably, I probably should try to do that just every time, instead of trying to be uh, fancy with it and trying to get it out. Okay. You get going. Now, that should be most everything here. Airlock. There. Okay. Okay, that only leaves like the first half. Okay, which. Okay, that still has a bit of. It still has a bit of. Uh, pressurized area in the front here. Okay. What are we doing? It should. Oh, what? 20 minutes already? Okay. Not much of a danger with that. Hmm. And yeah, we're all <laughs> we're already approaching uh, two hours again. Oop. Oop. There. Okay. Yeah. Some of these lower panels are actually aluminium that, uh, that you can cut. Actually, forgot about that. Uh, let's see. Let's be careful around. Uh, actually, yeah. Let's just cut around. <laughs> let's just cut along the pre-designed li lines. There and there. Okay. Now most everything should be free. Okay, mostly. Okay. Ah, yes, these. Okay. Uh, I think we should be able to finish this ship in the time we have left. Five streams later. 
<laughs> now, I'm not that slow with these. Let's see. Yeah, if we can get... Yeah, if... If we can get all... Of, see? If we can get all of the... Uh, Marks, we should be good for the next level, and thus more story. But again, if need be, I'm willing to do some off-screen stuff to make sure that... It... Oh, damn it. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, but I do feel like... Uh... That we may miss to do to that. Yeah, there's a chance of that. So if I do do that, I will be recording still just in case. Yeah, do that would be for the YouTube uh, specials. Uh, okay, apparently that's still usable. Okay. I won't ask questions if they don't. Might be wrecked, but repairable. Okay, there. Okay, the thing that's most likely to take up the most time is going to be emptying out the insides. Let's see, furnace processor. But you're still attached somewhere? Yep, these little corners here. Really? Okay. You mean a lightsaber? <laughs> Alright, it looks like a lightsaber for one angle. <laughs> okay, actually just chuck the rest in the processor. Oh. I said, it reminds me. I wonder if they've <laughs> been working more on it. Someone made a lightsaber made of... Uh, uh, tungsten rod. Okay, probably by just... Absolutely superheating the thing. Yep. Yeah, it's going down. I think like they've been trying to do a proper lightsaber for a few years. <laughs> I don't think that would be possible because that's superheated gas. Yeah, but they need to be to contained get somehow. Yeah, they try to get close to it. This makes sense why tungsten, for it can get quite a glowy and hot. Yeah. Okay. And that's likely to be able to come a laser that shoots through the roof. <laughs> there. And there. Do you think I've heard people have been getting close to make a lightsaber? For some reason. Uh, probably a more approximation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I yeah. heard people say there has been some issues with the, uh, the concept, like if, I, if you were able to make it, it would just suck up so much air around it that you would suffocate or something. Yeah, it could be, since those things, well, they're superheated plasma, so yeah, they would burn through oxygen like there's no tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah. Why can these be cuts? Odd. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that might be a bit of an issue if these are going to stick together. Let's see. Okay, that's inside. Okay, so most of this is done. You lot running low. Yeah, fuel isn't too much of a problem. I'm bonk. bonk. Okay. Yeah, there's some inner seals that need to be cut. Okay. Let's cut this one. There. And 
there. Okay. That's going to miss. Okay. Really? Zero? <laughs> zero, uh, zero credits of scrap destroyed, apparently. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's see about those last few mm, connection points. We still need to deal with the power generator. Oop. Angle away. Okay. A little bit of framing destroyed, but oh well. Oop, gap is already visible, so these should be able to move. If enough force is put on them. Let's see. Yeah, this is really becoming crawl space now, huh? Warning. They still say crawl space down there. Return to the master jack. Under under pressurized. Yeah. Okay. There. Okay. Fuel. Okay. Hmm. Now we should be able to move these parts away from each other now. Big Amazon should. Hmm. Yeah, there aren't too many breakpoints between... Uh, actually, oh, actually, I think I know what might be going on. The inner structure there is keeping parts of it together. So we'll need to start cutting there as well. Let me through. Come on. Careful. Okay. I do like that that will cut past things like that. Oh, what the heck okay. that was bright? Okay. Can we pull this now away from the other half? Hmm. Yes, we can. Okay. And yeah, now it's broken into three parts. That should be a lot more movable. Okay. Break Does the tethers. Just look like a metallic cacti. <laughs> a bit. Oh, wait. Cacti is plural and cactus is singular, right? Yep. Okay. So you did split it into three pieces, I guess cacti would be correct. <laughs> okay. You go there, and you go there. Okay. Just a few credits extra. There. Okay. No. Next ring. Yeah, that is slowly moving. There. Is it needed off of the rest? Hmm. Can I actually get you to follow after that thing? Okay, so this daisy chaining hasn't really worked much for me in the past. But it looks like it might work somewhat here. Yeah, as long as that like one doesn't break. The times you did try it was before it was released fully. Mm, no, it's been a 
that's been the, the daisy chaining has been a bit since uh, the first release i believe because they even sh show it in the intro animation uh, it might just be that I've never seen early access <laughs> now i think i think i've saw that maybe i just mm. I know that, that I, mean? I think I'm pretty sure at least that when I first started up the game I saw the cinematic where in in the intro where a cutter does the daisy chaining but uh, well I, okay. my memory could of course be wrong as it does uh, often I think recall you doing the early access part tried to do it and it didn't work as smoothly as planned yeah so of course that could just be because of me bungling around okay now, carefully remove this thing without jolting it. So I do not want to deal with a puff of radioactive materials in my workspace. Actually, I'm pretty sure nobody wants that. Unless they are... a fall like goon? <laughs> okay. And there... There we go. And there that goes. Okay, we might be a little bit short on time. Continue on, you. Okay. But yeah, that just means we'll have to finish this thing off next time. And then we'll for certain get more story, or should get more story. Again, I'm not entirely sure if the story progresses each time we get a new level, or if sometimes just a certain amount of days need to pass. Mm -hmm. So far it seems to be in the so uh, sort of day or... Actually, yeah, it has been many times if it's like it was uh, level re related. Yeah, I think... I think I think the levels mostly unlock new story, but so it won't take place over every. It it can be spread out over a few days for it to happen. Mm -hmm. Hey, come on! Ooh. There we go. There. Hmm. I've been, I've been thinking about something. Oh. Uh, maybe we should oh, really? look at uh, ending the streams more at towards uh, five minutes before we hit two uh, hours. Uh, you mean for a sense we usually go almost a bit over time every time we're about to say goodbye and all that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we can look at that some other time. Let's see. Oh yeah, we need to do these still. Okay. One, two, three. Like that. Oh, shut up, you. Okay, I thought I hit it at... You are, we are supposed to hit it at three lights, right? Hmm. Or did I just jump the gun a little bit? Nope. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Nope. Okay. Yep. Okay, I... Okay, I got... Oh, wait. Okay, I'll need to double check. Maybe... Maybe it is when all the lights are off? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's one death from uh, getting processed and one from shock. Okay. And right back here. Okay. Wait, hold on. Your next of kin will be... paying for your unreturned equipment. Okay. But you still... Oh, come on! 
Okay, let's try it then with this one. All lights off. Okay, yeah, all, no, no I, one... I got it reversed. We need to hit it with all lights off. Yeah, I'm just more pissed. I just realized. Yeah, sure, you're a clone. They will get cloned repeatedly. But you're next to King, we still repay for things you lose. Yeah, technically it wouldn't even be next of kin because, well, not entirely human anymore. Yeah, but do they care? Yeah. That, you, now you see why I'm getting angry here. And for, mm. for, for, for the, uh, everyone else, no? They might think you're actually all dead. Yeah. And I probably keep it... Oh, no. Basically, if we can, we should just absolutely burn links to the ground. But then we'll be out of a job. I think the entire world needs a revolution. For this should never be allowed to have happened to in the first place. Hmm. Okay. What is... Hmm. Yeah, this panel here is still holding it in place, I think. So... Okay, yeah, that can be moved now. Okay. But yeah, this is a good game, but just the world that it's set in is just really... It, it is just a dystopia. Yeah. What the heck? I mean, I'd be surprised if there's something similar going on. Actually, yeah, there is some something similar going on somewhere else in 40k. But most of the 40k are usually not about the work environment too much. More of the combat and all that. Yeah, just the fact that your forge world can, could get info, uh, yeah, attacked by chaos and by anything else. Basically any day. Yeah, but we have seen glimpses of uh, how horrible it is. Uh, a lot See, of glimpses. What? what is still holding you? Okay, don't tell me it's just paneling again here on the sides. Even though it shouldn't actually be touching. Yeah. Nope. That didn't free it. So it's probably this here. Still nope. Don't tell me it's these corners here. Still a nope. Wait. Don't really. Yep, that was it. Okay. There. Oh, poor love of. <laughs> yeah, sometimes yeah, really items can get really glued together like that. Okay. <laughs> Give me that. Okay. So yeah, finally to the last bit. Just clearing this the inside of this thing. But yeah, we'll have to finish this next week. Yeah, so like, many small things here. As he has said, this is probably why I've been always so no, even easier but return to this game for Yeah, it does get a lot of skin. Yeah. But not in a Power. way that it's like it's bad or something. It's just that, well, it's an actual dystopian world. And it feels almost, in a way, disturbingly realistic. Yeah. Even though I don't think most, much people would allow this to happen, but we have seen people who clearly would want this to happen. Yeah. 
Okay. That's the timer going. So... Let's do, a, do a little bit of space parkour and get yeah. out of here. Well, like I said, I still do want us to be able to finish this game. Yeah. <clears throat> and if it does get one day get a sequel, I would be up for streaming that as well. After it's finished in early access, if they do that again. Because I... Yeah. <laughs> I just do not like that we need to redo the story every time. Okay. Not yeah. enough for a level, but let's see if we can get some story anyways. I get the feeling we haven't heard the last from Lou. And yeah, I kind of guess that Kaito was the one that he put the squeeze on. Links would like to share the following inspirational message. Some people dream of great salvage, while other hmm. people get up every morning and make it happen. Art collector. Okay, nothing. Okay, then at least I'll do a bit here. Uh, let's see, equipment. Uh, ta -ta -ta. No. Uh, let's see, heat capacity, cooldown. That's good. Both of those. Uh, thrusters. Brakes are always good to have upgraded. May as well upgrade the speed a bit as well. Grapple. Yeah. This. We have 700. Okay. There. Scanner. Um, there, there, and let's see, demo charges, purchase demo charges, durability drain, okay, capacity, self cleanup, and let's see, yeah, okay, that should all still be in reasonable condition. And yeah, with that, uh, yeah, let's call it there then for today. So save and quit. Yes. Okay. And still slowly but surely chipping away at that depth. All right. But before we end if the stream, of course, we're going to look for someone to raid. If that depth is even real. Hmm. Okay. Apparently Oscar snuck into the room at some point or another. Because he's just leaving. Also, okay. I see only darkness. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's see. Oh, it's a busy night. It's a Sunday night, of course, so a lot of people would be streaming. Uh, let me narrow this down some then. We have Lazarus, who is playing Ratchet Deadlocked. We have... Uh, let's see... Uh, again, that Unicorn Overlord game by Karen I. I think they were streaming that earlier as well. And let's see, anyone else? Mm. Let's see. Touch Scaly Tail with party animals. Any of those or anyone else here you see? Do you suggest for rating? I'll let you pick for I will value the options. <laughs> okay, lo let's go with Lashers then. They're becoming a common target for this. Okay. <clears throat> All right, copy the name, add to our channel, and then, as usual, slash rate and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you anyone, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, let's see, no active chat, no names lurkers, so well. So yeah, thank you as always as well, Dirk here. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for watching here on Twitch or on YouTube. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll have a stream tomorrow with the others, maybe Borderlands, maybe Crosscode, we'll have to see. It really just depends on it, if people are available and such. Or maybe even Valheim, we'll have to see. <clears throat> and yeah, Tuesday and Thursday we'll be continuing with uh, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast. And yeah, we'll have to see what to do with Sunday's... <clears throat> 
Yeah, actually, we we could probably make Sunday like a secondary side quest again that we just mostly focus on this game or whatever else pops up. I need to go check on Dave the Diver, see how that's going. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I, I'll be up for that using this Sunday evening for secondary side quests. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's about it then. So, yeah, let's go get that raid started. There, yeah. Okay, and yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well. I watch out for space seagulls. <laughs> and just middle managers who don't have your best interest in mind, watch out for those especially. Oh, yes. Oh, dear. Oh.